why are men now being arrested for playing video games? God bless you. Thank you. Damn. I gotta kill you. I know. I know. Why are men now being arrested for playing video games? Guys, this is not clickbait. This is actually happening. The FBI is now monitoring men playing games, and men are being arrested for being for playing games. They're being arrested for watching YouTube videos. They're being arrested for just being alone in their homes. Watch to the end of the video to understand why the FBI is now going to great lengths to monitor men, especially when they're playing games, and what implications this will have on the future. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into the very first video. The FBI is cracking down on voice chat and gaming. They're already monitoring everything you're saying on things like Roblox, Discord, Reddit. Most of y'all probably didn't know this, but you can even get banned from Fortnite if you say the wrong thing while you're in party chat with your friends. Yeah, not even random strangers, y'all. Fortnite is tracking everything you're saying while you're talking with your friends on there. PlayStation and Xbox also do this. So I really, really want y'all to know anything you say while you're on voice chat on anything, even if it's something as simple as recording yourself on TikTok and posting it to your drafts. Those drafts are visible to certain employees, even if you don't post them, by the way. You gotta realize it's probably being tracked. If you take a video on your phone that you don't want anyone to see and you have something like iCloud backing it up, then they actually monitor not only what is in that video, they also can see everything you're saying, everything you're doing. And if you're doing something in those videos that you probably shouldn't be doing, then you can be flagged for it. Even if you don't post it, just if you take a video on your phone and it happens to get backed up, maybe you take the video and you forget iCloud backup is off. Well, too bad, it's being monitored now. Now, things like iCloud, I don't think it's been confirmed whether or not that goes to the FBI, but it does go to Apple. And we all know how our personal data gets passed around when it comes to big companies. Um, evidently, the uh, FBI, you know those guys, the FBI, yeah, evidently they're cracking down on what you're uh, talking about in your game chat whenever you're playing video games. Like Roblox, Fortnite, Call of Duty, yeah, they're uh, peeping in and listening to what you're saying. So uh, a lot of you guys are probably screwed. Yeah. You got anything on you? No, no, you guys can't. Okay. We can check you. How would you like? So, actually, if you're okay, we make sure. You're going to be transferred. I don't want to hit too much. I don't want to go. Marlon, stop. Resist. Stop moving around. Yeah, a lot of you guys are probably going to prison. So um, if you have a buddy that you play video games with and you know that he uh, rages a lot, and if he disappears for a little bit, just know he's probably locked away. And about 50% of my students, I'm convinced they're not going to be at school anymore. Yeah, because I've played video games with some of the high school dudes uh, that I teach, uh, like Call of Duty, and I'm, I'm almost convinced that they're going to be locked away because the things that they say are absolutely dark. Like, you cannot say that, like, outside of your, uh, your room because if you say that in public, you're going to get beat up or you're going to jail or going to get, like, put in a straight jacket. So, um, yeah, next time you play a video game, make sure you tell the FBI how much you love them and uh, all that good stuff of bad news but uh -huh. the federal government just said that they're going to be spying on you playing video games to combat extremism it seems the fbi and the department of homeland security are going to be partnering with gaming companies to fight extremist gamers the government accountability this office isn't the, they did this after uh 9 11 too says that the fbi and dhs should use the same strategy that allowed them to police extremism on social media to regulate the gaming industry mm -hmm. and the anti-defamation league super reputable says that 20 percent of adult gamers and 15 percent of kids playing games report being exposed to white supremacy while gaming what constitutes extremism um you may ask racially or ethnically motivated violence anti-government or anti-abortion animal rights or environmental what extremism. The fuck? You're pro-life apparently and all other domestic terrorism threats which the fbi has already said include happened to men pursuing girls when was the pivotal moment that a man chose to not go after a girl anymore and put in any effort it seems like guys can just put the bare minimum and not even really put an effort anymore they don't really care to or they're like why don't girls just go and make the first move and make the effort when did it become a thing now it's like role reversal where they expect girls to be making the first moves yearning for a guy and chasing him that is i feel like the downfall of why it's so hard to meet someone because men don't put an effort in there's plenty of pivotal moments how about when a woman called a man weak for opening her car door? Or the time that men pursued women on dating apps and him saying, hey, how are you, wasn't good enough? 
how about the pivotal moment when a man is looking out into the open and happens to glance in a woman's direction and somehow he's undressing her with his eyes? Or how about the moment when women considered everything the bare minimum and nothing is ever good enough? Or what about the pivotal moment where men have to fix everything in a relationship to make it work and women have to simply exist? You see, guys, this is why the FBI, this is why law enforcement is going after is going after men in video games because men and men are abandoning society, men are walking away from society, men are done with it, men have said, you know what? You don't like us, you don't want us, you absolutely hate us. So we're just gonna take, we're just gonna pick up and we're gonna leave, and we don't give a damn anymore. And that's the situation that the state is in. Because it's becoming increasingly difficult to monitor men that have abandoned society. Society abandoned them. So what are these men doing? They're going home. They're taking their ball. They're going home. They're going MGTOW. They're going MWA. They're exploring their best alternatives. And their best alternatives is to walk away and stay away. And as a result, the government has no way of connecting with these men and really knowing what these men are doing. So how are they responding? They're responding by spying on these men. Even videos that you watch on YouTube right now, they are spying on you. Recently, the government uh, requested, the FBI requested, you know, information, your search history, your full name, your address, your phone number, you know, all, you know, every video that you're watching, everything that you, everything that you have, that you've done on your YouTube account, even your Google account, they requested it from Google. It, uh, and this was, this was for basically over 30,000 men. All right. Why are they doing it? It's a test run to see how far they can go to surveil men. All right. Because they are afraid that, you know, the only the only group of people that can stand up to tyranny are men. And of course, they need men to be fat. They need men to be sick, demoralized and passive so that they will be they're busy to obey, to control. And so they can do whatever, whatever they want. And that's the reality right now. FBI has been monitoring what you watch on YouTube, and they're demanding Google give them all your info if you watch certain videos. Now, this just became public out of a case in Kentucky, where the FBI was granted the right to spy on up to 30,000 people over this. And they want Google to give your IP address even if you accidentally watch these videos. This is crazy. And they'll be gathering all your emails, all your phone numbers, all your contact information, your entire watch history. Now, specifically, they were going after people that watch money laundering tutorials. But this is the federal government. They're just testing the waters with this here. You know they're going to start implementing this on things they don't want us to have, like free speech and the Second Amendment. And I grew up, you know, I'm a 90s kid, so the Internet is supposed to be for free speech and communicating worldwide and sharing knowledge. Now, obviously, the Internet became a total shitstorm. But back in the 90s, we didn't know that. And I would watch out because I believe if the FBI can do this, other federal agencies like the ATF can start implementing these rules where they can start spying on you if you're watching certain gun videos. You can call me paranoid, but this is how these things start. During we told young men, don't go to work, it's dangerous. Don't make a plan, the world's coming to an end. Move home with your mother, she'll take care of you. Sit on the couch, watch, eat DoorDash, Scroll through social media until you have mental illness, and that's fine. We'll deposit money in your account. For a woman, because we, we were made to look after you. But I don't understand the young man who doesn't want to work. We have some men who don't like to work. You sit in the room, you put on television and watch Netflix while this little woman goes to work. For you, I have a sermon. A whole sermon a man to pay for the date yes the whole entire date that includes my uber to the date and my uber back to my house if you are a man that i'm interested in i want to see that you can provide for me i want to see that you can afford an uber ride i want to see that you can afford a nice dinner date like can you afford basic things because if you can't afford dinner and an uber my transportation you certainly can't afford kids how about the time there was a study done that said 80% of women find men unattractive, so why would they try anymore? Or the pivotal moment where men can be accused of SA or grape at any given moment by accident just because a woman is pissed off because she was rejected? Or what about the pivotal moment that women have constantly told men that they're so undesirable that they would rather pick a bear over a human being? Church on Sunday. This is super constitutional.
That's crazy. I wonder how true something like this is. I hear something crazy like that, and I always kind of have a little bit of a, uh, this seems too extreme for me to just believe a TikTok about it. But I could see it happening again, because we did something similar to this after 9-11. So now you got a bunch of fearful, soft beta males who are passive with mental health, a whole generation. They've never seen a dad in the home. They've never seen a man get up and go to work. So they don't understand that that's what a man is and that's what a man does. We gotta check you to make sure everything's safe. Yes, okay. Okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. You certainly can't afford a house. You certainly can't afford my bills and I got bills to pay. Okay. This sort of list of demands is absolutely a turnoff to all men because they all know that when this is her attitude, she is not reciprocating. She's not putting an effort. She's literally just existing and she'll actually call that effort. No, a man wants a relationship because of what can be created within that relationship. You see guys, we're at the point now where you have women who don't have anything to bring to the table. You know, they want a man who is fit, a man who is, so he's, he makes above six figures, he has a six pack, and he's at least six feet tall. And those are just the bare minimums for her. But, you know, is she fit? Is she feminine? Is she friendly? Absolutely not. And then you have sim pastors who are, who are shaming men for wanting a woman who is beautiful. Oh, if you want a if you want a beautiful woman, then really then you're sinning because what you're looking for is a mommy. You shouldn't be looking for a beautiful woman. You should be looking for a woman whom you can sacrifice for, and that will thereby make you a better person. If you want a beautiful woman, then you have committed sin. The same sin pastor, but then in the next breath he's like, "Oh, men no longer want to date and marry or even be physically intimate with a woman. They have no desire for a woman." So on one hand, it's wrong to desire a beautiful woman. On the other hand, you know, you're sit you you are you should be punished and damned to hell because you no longer desire a woman. I mean, choose one. Basically, this the church is going broke because men pay 80% of all taxes, hence they pay 80% of all tithes and offerings. And because men are now working fewer hours, they're working just enough to survive and thrive and no more. All and they're not going to church in many cases. All of that money is leaving the state and it's leaving the church because the church is just another form of the state and they're pissed off about it. All right. And where where is this going to leave women? It's going to leave women in extraordinary states of destitution, poverty, ho poverty, homelessness, living in their cars, living in shelters, living on the streets, living in the woods. It's, it's going to be pretty terrible when you consider that 45 percent of all women between the ages of 25 and 25 and 44 will be child single come 2030. And that's not counting single mothers when you factor them. And we're, we're thinking like 70 to 90 percent of all women in the United States are going to be are going to be um, are going to be single. And hence, men are not going to be subsidizing their living anymore. The government has $35 trillion in debt right now that it can't even pay the interest on it. So it does not have the money to subsidize, you know, hundreds of millions of women. I mean, it's really over right there and men are not doing it anymore. So it's going to be a complete nightmare. Women are going to be ending up into ex in extraordinary cares of this states of destitution and men are not going to do anything about it. Guys, if you're enjoying the content, consider checking out and subscribing to our newsletter for my personal thoughts, insights, and a free copy of my ebook, The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race. Click the link in the description to get your free copy. What do you think regarding all of this, guys? Why are men now being arrested for playing video games? They're being arrested because the, the state wants to absolutely monitor them. The state wants to keep them on their lock and key. The state wants to know what they're doing all the time because it's only men who can stand up to tyranny. But what will men do? Men will just create new spaces, okay? They already have a method of monitoring men when they're playing, monitoring people when they're playing games and reporting any extremist behavior. No, they want to monitor them 24 seven so they can build a profile on them and then they can basically go into their homes, drag them out and throw them in jail or use it or use it as evidence to blackmail them into getting them what they want them to do. Hell, maybe even join the draft. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWM and walking away, and cheers.